I'm gonna show you how to clean and protect your leather seats. So what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today we're talking about car leather. In your vehicle, you might have leather seats, a leather steering wheel, a leather shifter knob, basically leather surfaces that over time get dirty or get damaged. So from the sun's damaging UV rays that can fade or crack leather over time, there's some dirt that can accumulate uh, basically from fluids, bodily fluids, or uh, some grease or oils that you have on your skin. Also, there can be some uh, dye transfer, so from your jeans. Also, friction damage from getting in and out of your vehicle uh, over the years. And also, there can be some stains from liquid spills, so on and so forth. So today, I'm going to give you the easy way to clean and to protect your surfaces to prevent against all of those. And also, how to maintain your leather seats over time, because maintenance is key. So I'm going to show you all the tips, all the tricks. We're going to do a nice demo uh, in my own vehicle, which by the way, has perforated leather. So a lot of you guys have questions on how to do that on uh, perforated leather as well. So on heated and cooled seats, perforated leather, and that's an optional Napa leather. So a high quality leather as well. Uh, the tips and tricks will apply to all kinds of leather, including the synthetic leathers out there. So you know the drill. Without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day, so let's dig right into it. But before we do so, if you wanna to continue to learn more about car detailing, so all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure that you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. And while you're at it, make sure to click the notifications icon, that's the bell icon, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video to YouTube. Also, don't worry, all the products, the tools, and equipment that I'll be using today, I'll drop the links to those in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So as I said at the beginning, today we're focusing on cleaning and protecting your vehicle's leather seats, but the same techniques apply to leather steering wheels, leather shifter knobs, and basically any other leather surfaces inside your vehicle. And they also apply to any synthetic leather that you might have. So basically, we're gonna dive into the demo right away, and towards the end, I'm gonna discuss more in depth about the tools and equipment, but I know you guys are dying to see them in action. But uh, just a quick intro on leather. After discussing with some experts over at ColorLock, so they're leather care experts around the world in the automotive world, and they uh, led me to understand that leather inside the vehicle has a pH of roughly four and a half to five. So it's more on the acidic side if we consider that pH seven is pH neutral. So you need to use specific cleaners and protectants uh, to be able to work well with all of that. And so we want to rid the leather surfaces. Of course, we want to clean them before protecting them because over time, a lot of dirt can accumulate. A lot of body fluids or oils from your skin, they tend to rub on the leather. And of course, it makes that dirty. And you're going to see uh, that uh, your leather surfaces are dirty when you see them shining. So they're not supposed to. Uh, to have that glossy appearance. That means there's a lot of oils that are on there. Uh, they're supposed to have a matte appearance. So that a clean leather is always matte in appearance. So we're gonna address that. So we're gonna also protect the leather to prevent all those things from happening in the future. Okay, enough talking, let's get into the demo. So guys, before we go ahead and start the demo, uh, one tip is to make sure that you wear gloves when you're doing detailing, guys. Always protect your skin against chemicals. So the first step is gonna to be to vacuum the surface to remove any loose dirt and dust. So you're gonna use your vacuum, but one tip that I have for you guys is look at your tip. You don't want any jagged edges that could damage the leather. So what I do is I use a sanding paper and I sand the tip to make it slippery and smooth so that way you have uh, no worries of damaging your leather. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and you're gonna expose all the creases of your leather. So pull that leather back and go into the creases, all the nooks, all the crannies, including behind the seats, to remove any of that loose dirt and dust. Uh, if you have thigh extensions like this, go ahead and open them up so you can access the uh, inside part. And again, mm -hmm. remove any loose dirt and debris that might be inside the creases. What I do is I always start with the seat back. So we're gonna work uh, from top to bottom. So for the purpose of the video, because it's easier to film, I'm gonna be working on the bottom surface, but always assume that regardless of the steps, we start with the uh, headrests, the seat backs, and then we finish with the actual seats. 
So after we're done vacuuming, what we're going to do next is going to go ahead and clean the surface. So it's very important. We want to remove any of those body fluids, any water spills, any uh, liquid stains, uh, any body oils that are on there as well. You want your surface to be as clean and as matte as possible because clean leather is matte. It doesn't have a glossy appearance. If your leather has glossy appearance, you know that it's contaminated with oils and uh, all sorts of junk. So we're going to use a uh, spray cleaner in this one. There are also some that are some dry foam that you can apply on top of a uh, brush so that's fine too as you can see here a lot of people have questions of how do you clean perforated leather so this is high-end Napa leather in my BMW uh, these are heated and cooled seats so it is perforated leather and as you can tell we're still using a spray form no problems you're not using that much anyway on the surface so there's no damage on the inside don't overthink it of course if we were to spill a full bottle inside there uh, that would be another issue but in this case we're just spraying uh, lightly on the surface and we're brushing and removing with a microfiber towel so no worries so shake your uh, spray cleaner for your leather and what you're going to do you're going to spray some on the surface just like so and then you're going to start working it in with a leather brush so i like this color lock leather brush you can also have an assortment of other brushes what we want to do basically is to scrub the surface to get that lather going. Hopefully you can see this on camera, but we have a very, very nice foaming effect. So we're gonna help to lift all the body oils from the surface. So let's show you the same thing. Spray a little more, spray some on the tip. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna agitate that leather cleaner on the surface and by foaming you're basically lifting any of the dirt make sure you reach the side bolsters those are usually the uh, dirtiest parts of the leather because that's where you uh, come into contact the most by going in and out of the vehicle on a daily basis of course the uh, usually the driver's side is also the uh, dirtiest so keep that in mind so work that product well, get that foaming action going. And what I recommend, it's always best to do multiple light applications than one aggressive, super heavy application. So you do a light application. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a clean and dry microfiber towel. You're gonna mop all of that up. So all of the excess liquid, and you should be left with a nice matte appearance which is the case here. So our leather now is fully cleaned and free of any of those body oils or nasty stains if you have those or any of those body oils that can also interfere with the application of your protection. So you want the product to be able to bond directly to the leather surface. Another quick tip, have a second damp microfiber towel so this one here, just damp with a bit of water. And what you're going to do is you're going to wipe the surface that you just cleaned. And this will make sure that to remove any residue from the cleaner that you just used. Again, we want perfection here. So I'm showing you the tips and tricks to get things properly done. So just a damp microfiber towel. That's it. You can use your dry one once again. To make sure there's no moisture left or no liquids and now we have a clean and dry surface to work with so it's time to apply the uh, ceramic coating for your leather or your leather protectant if you want a leather sealant that's up to you so we're going to take our foam block we're going to take the micro suede applicator and wrap it around just like so you're going to shake the bottle well of the coating that you're using always important to shake your chemicals before use we're going to apply, hopefully you can see this on camera, a few drops to make a line with the product, just like so. And then you simply go and you wipe it on the surface. And that's it. It should be dry to the touch in roughly 10 minutes. And try not to expose your vehicle to any uh, liquids or water for roughly four hours 
after application. That's pretty much a general rule of thumb for uh, all leather coatings, whether you're using the uh, Gion or the CarPro. So just so it has a bit of time to cure on the surface, apply more as needed. Work in a well-ventilated space or wear a mask if you're not in a well-ventilated area. So again, we're covering all the surface. They pretty much auto level, so there's uh, no real worries on that side, but to get to all the nooks and crannies if you want, you can take your little micro suede applicator and then by hand, make sure that you've covered all the areas just like so, that you went all over. Try to use a crosshash pattern, so up and down and left and right. And this is just to ensure proper coverage. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. This is as simple as it gets. So this way, you're gonna have not only clean leather, but it's gonna be protected. So initially, it looks shiny just like this, but don't worry, uh, once it dries to the touch, it's gonna have a matte appearance, so it does not alter the color or the appearance of your leather. It's gonna look just like OEM when you got the car new. So a nice matte crisp finish just the way we like it. So now more on the tools and products that we used in the video and also some other recommendations that I might have, especially if you have some dirtier seats. So first of all, I always recommend a good dedicated leather brush like this one here from Colorlock. Again, this is a leading company in car care for leather. So uh, you can look at the bristles here in the back. These were specifically designed to clean leather surfaces. You can also have an assortment of different brushes. So let's have this focus here. So with some, again, soft bristles, even if they were a bit stiffer, guys, don't worry. <laughs> leather is pretty resilient, so it will resist to pretty much anything. But these are perfect for the leather surfaces. You want to lather that cleaner up. Talking about leather cleaners. So there are two options that uh, I really, really like. First of all, from Gion, we have the uh, Gion Leather Cleaner. So this is an excellent cleaner for leather. And you pair that up with their ceramic coating for leather surfaces. So this is Gion Leather Shield. So basically a ceramic coating that is gonna last up to a year, protect against dirt, it's gonna protect against the sun's UV rays, protect also against uh, dye transfer from your jeans and clothes, also is gonna help to uh, prevent liquid spills, so they're much easier to clean, and of course, protect against friction damage. So basically, you just apply this, uh, there's no real uh, technique, it's super simple. So you're basically applying, you're uh, letting it air dry, and that's it. Always test these products, by the way, in an inconspicuous area first. They're pretty much fine on all leathers, but you always wanna be diligent and make sure you're fine. And in the Leather Shield box, you also get a foam block like this and micro suede applicators, just like a ceramic coating for paint. And what you do is you take your block, you take the uh, micro suede applicator like this, and as you saw in the video, you're gonna apply a drop, drops, a line of drops on the uh, micro suede, and you're gonna rub on the surface, and that's pretty much it. It auto levels and auto dries. Another combination from another brand that I like is CarPro Inside. So this is their interior cleaner. So this is very appropriate for uh, interior surfaces, including leather. So it's safe on all leather surfaces. And once you're done cleaning, CarPro also have their Sequartz leather. So this is their version of a ceramic coating for leather surfaces. So basically same kind of glass bottle inside. Uh, by the way, they usually come in 30 mil or 50 mil bottles. So a 30 mil is uh, good enough to coat the leather inside a average sized car or two. And a 50 mil bottle, you can do three or four cars. Of course, it always depends on how much product you apply on there. Always use leather uh, gloves, guys, when you're using chemicals, very important. You don't want chemicals uh, to be in contact with your skin. So what I do is I use uh, black nitrile gloves. Again, I'll link those in the description. We have uh, another company, of course, again, Colorlock, experts in leather care. So they have what they call the uh, car care set for new leather. So if you have a vehicle that's less than three years old, you can use this kit. Inside there's a bunch of stuff, but it also includes 
your choice of their mild cleaner or their strong cleaner. So for a lot of dirt, you can choose the strong version. And they have the leather shield. So basically, it's kind of a sealant for the leather surfaces to prevent, uh, to prevent against dye transfer and uh, liquid spills and friction damage as well. And then if you have a vehicle older than three years, what they have is their smooth leather care set. So this one here, this kit, comes with almost the same things, but the difference is, well, of course, you have your choice of the uh, mild or strong leather cleaner, depending on how soiled your seats are. But the difference, instead of the leather shield, they have the leather protector. So basically, this conditions and nourishes the leather and also has UV protection. So what Color Lock suggests is as soon as your car is older than three years, you switch to this kit because you want to also prevent um, your leather with UV protection. So prevent cracking and fading over time. And it nourishes and protects your leather as well. So you have the leather protector. Now, what happens if you have super dirty leather seats that are caked in body oils and stains and all sorts of crap? Well, what you can do is that there's this uh, mitt from CarPro that I like. It's called their Inner Scrub. You can use this for many interior surfaces. What it is basically, it's a different blend of microfibers. So let me uh, have a close up here. Hopefully you can see this. They're a bit stiffer. And so this does a great job. It's a mitt. So you use it to scrub the surfaces. This will not damage leather, by the way. Again, guys, uh, do not overthink it. Leather is very, very durable and uh, you're not gonna scratch your leather, believe me. Um, of course, don't use uh, any metal on your leather, but you'll be fine. So this is basically a microfiber glove with uh, the fibers that are a bit stiffer. And so that does a great job at doing a hyper deep clean. Or you can have a brush like this. This is a drill brush attachment. So you attach this end to your cordless drill and basically it's gonna turn, spin. So this has soft bristles and you can use this to uh, deeply agitate your leather cleaner that you have on there. And what some people like to do if they're even more caked is you can use an all-purpose cleaner like this uh, Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. Use a dilution, start with a medium strength, maybe 10 to one with the APC that you're using. Uh, for heavy duty, you can dilute up to four to one, but I recommend to always start with the softer dilutions if you're using an all-purpose cleaner. So 10 parts of water to one part of product, test in an inconspicuous area first. Uh, but what this helps, this is a more alkaline based cleaner. So uh, it helps sometimes to remove grease a bit easier. Again, your leather is clear coated, so there's a plastic film on top, so don't worry. Of course, you don't do this every day, but if you're a mobile detailer out there or if you're a car detailer and you have some really soiled seats, or even if you're a DIYer and your seats are really caked, again, in dirt and grime and body oils and that kind of stuff, you can use an all-purpose cleaner. Uh, when you're done, though, to remove the residue, always use a microfiber towel that's damp with a bit of water because you want to remove that residue before going ahead to protect. And as a last step event, of course, always start with the least aggressive or the less aggressive methods first, like we showed in this video. So your uh, leather cleaners and your leather brushes, then you can move on to agitate with leather brushes that are stiffer or all-purpose cleaners. And as a last resort, you can use magic erasers. So uh, basically these magic sponges that you're gonna damp with uh, either a bit of water or all-purpose cleaner, again, that's properly diluted, and you're gonna rub on the surface, and that's really gonna remove all that dirt and grime quickly. Uh, of course, this is a mild abrasive, so don't worry, again, it's not gonna super damage your leather because you're not doing this all the time. Again, guys, I wanna stress this uh, so you understand, this is not a thing you do on regular maintenance. This is something you use for extreme situations where you have super dirty seats, it's not gonna destroy the leather. Many pro detailers out there, you guys know the tricks. This is one of them that they use to uh, quickly go through the job and it's gonna do a good job. Again, when you're done, use a uh, damp microfiber towel to uh, remove any residue and then you can go ahead with the protection stage. Now, once you've cleaned and protected your leather, there's a maintenance regime that you wanna get into. So that way the same dirt doesn't come back every time, right? So I recommend that every two to three months you go through a light cleaning procedure. So if your car is coated with a ceramic coating like we showed today, or a good leather sealant, such as the color lock, what you can do every two to three months is either use a damp microfiber towel with just water and you do a wipe of your seats and your leather surfaces and that should be good enough. 
enough. And if there are, a, if there is a bit of dirt, what you can do to bump it up a notch for the maintenance is every two to three months, use your leather cleaner. So let's say you have CarPro inside or the uh, Gion leather cleaner, but dilute them three to one. So three parts of water to one part of product in another spray bottle and use that as your maintenance spray. So a light application, if you do that regularly, your seats are always gonna be looking great. So you're gonna have seats that are not only clean, but they're protected, again, against dirt, against spills from liquids, against the UV rays, against friction damage, against dye transfer, so on and so forth. So you're gonna keep your leather looking nice and clean, or as I say, keep it tight and keep it clean. So. Guys, that does it for the demo. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like these kinds of tutorials, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support. Also, drop a comment in the comment section under the video if you guys have any other tips and tricks to share with my viewers uh, for leather surfaces. Also, you can watch my uh, tutorial on how to properly clean and protect your leather steering wheels. Uh, that was a very popular one as well. So I'll drop that to link to the video in the description under this video. And again, I remind you that all the links to the products and tools that I used in the video will be linked in the description under this video for you guys to check them out. So uh, yeah, that pretty much does it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. You always learn a lot of cool stuff on the Pandy Organizer channel, and hopefully I entertain you along the way as well. So in the meantime, don't forget to keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you guys on the next one.